Uh, can you take us to that interception you had? It was kind of a tip drill situation. Uh, I think Cedric Gray had great pressure on the quarterback, and the quarterback, uh, quarterback threw it off his back foot and kind of a late throw to the tight end and tipped it, and I was kind of anticipating the play. How that sack that uh, Jacoby Callen had late in the game, Minnesota was near midfield. It felt like that was kind of the nail in the coffin uh, in the game, just looking back on it. How happy for you for Jacoby and how much of a release was it after not getting a sack at all in Sap State? Just testament to his hard work and just testament <coughs> to the D-line and what they've been doing all year on paying off and not getting a sack and get off the field. It was 21-13, they were driving, and Armani got that pit. They had 46 yards the rest of the game. What did you guys do to shut them down those last four years? Um, we just kept communicating. We just told them, like, they can't score anything on us if we continue to communicate and continue to be the defense that we say we are. So um, we all just came together and said they're not getting anymore. Howard, I know they, they're a, a team that relies a lot on running, but the quarterback for them today, I think, is only, like, 38% completion rate for him. I mean, you guys had him where it you know, wasn't very successful. What do you think y'all were able to do to just sort of neutralize them yeah. like through the pass? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna just create a lot of pressure up front and just handle our assignments on the back end, um, front and back end up together. So that's how we did a great job today. How are all you guys talk about, you guys playing complimentary football today, you, know, you guys shut down and set there later. The offense put together that long drive toward the end. I guess, is this maybe the first time you've seen it this year where you guys have kind of really put those two things together? And how important is that for you guys moving forward? Um, I wouldn't say it's the first time. I feel like we've had a lot of tight games and times when we have to come together and play on both sides. But um, I feel like it just shows that we come together and we're just a strong team. Did you hear the, uh, the chance for Taz? Yes, yes, we did. What, 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 what do you think about that? Um, free Taz. Free Taz Walker, you know. It's, it sucks what they're doing, but we just got to wait it out and see what they decide. It looked like he was waving the towel over there, too, Taz. Like, you see, do you feel like that was a – I mean, uplifting moment. No, it was, it was just fans and everybody just coming together for him. It's a beautiful thing. Now, after what you were doing last year with the defense, how gratifying is it to you know, you go out there and, and have the defense win games? Um, it's a testament to our hard work in the offseason, just us coming together and saying, like, the product we put on the field last year is not the product we put on the field this year. Just working in day in, day out, every single week, and that's the model, like, reputation on the line every week. <laughs> Howard, Mike was in here a few minutes ago talking about how this is a player of their team. He said he could leave certain puddles and someone like Cedric Gray will take it over, someone like Corey Gander will take it over. From your perspective, how important is that, you know, having players that, you know, are kind of the on-field coaches, so to speak? Um, it's just us out there when we in the game, you know, none of the coaches are out there. It's just us, so we all play for each other. We all love one another. And I feel like we've got a great team, great cohesiveness, and we all play for each one of our brothers. So we land on the line for each other. So. Did you feel the defense is um, we just said that we ain't gonna allow what happened last week to beat us this week. We're gonna go in the film room, fix it up, and get ready for the next week. Put it behind us and play Minnesota to beat Minnesota. Do you feel like something like this was coming from Nate? Um, for sure. He's been working hard since fall camp. We've seen what Nate has been able to do in camp and ever since he's been here. So we, we just felt like as soon as he was gonna get his opportunity, he was gonna take advantage of it. Howard Gray had his second game over four and passing yards today in his career. I'm a guy who's played against him whether in practice uh, for a couple years now, I guess. What's it like watching a caliber, a quarterback to this caliber kind of play? Um, I'll say it's probably one of my first time seeing something like that, so uh, I'm just blessed to be in a position to be on this team. Do you think there's been some moving parts back there in the secondary, you know, trying different guys to star and tail on that corner, and Armani was in there today. Do you think Armani is the answer at corner? Because Marcus obviously is sort of locked into that other – corner spot. Do you think Armani is the guy there? I feel like we can roll any of our guys out there and we all gonna trust whoever's gonna be out there to get a stop and deflect the pass or get an interception. Every single one of our guys I feel like we can roll out there and get the job done. There were a lot of guys out there tonight. A lot of different guys playing in the secondary. You kinda have to make you have any idea like who's guys are coming in and out? Is the communication different when that many guys are out? Or, um, no. or have you guys gotten to a point where it's all kind of similar regardless of who's out there? Yeah, because we all know each other's jobs, and we all communicate, and we all trust one another at the end of the day. So if you're out there, you're out there for a reason. We trust you. Did you ever find yourself kind of like, oh, Stick's in the game now. Oh, Armani's in the game now. Just I, kind of, I, I, I just see one in. I just see one brother and another brother in the game. That's all I feel. <laughs> you guys good? Thank you, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat.